Expressions can be used all over Spotfire from things like data limiting and filtering data. You can use them on axes expressions, calculated columns, data functions, lots of different examples. But what we're gonna show today are just some of the more common examples and that will at least get you started. Now, before we jump right into the examples, here's a bit of expression syntax to keep in mind. If you put text within a bracket, then Spotfire is gonna look at that as if it's a column. It's also gonna color it green. If you have spaces in your expression, it's gonna be ignored. The case will also be ignored. And then if you have multiple lines in your expression, that will all be treated as one. So different lines will be ignored that they're on different lines. Single quotes and double quotes are also treated the same, and that's usually for text. And text will be in kind of a light pink color. So the other thing to keep in mind is that if you have external data that's not brought into Spotfire, you're gonna see different expression functions. You're not gonna have all the functions available to you because your data source is gonna limit what it can process. So if you wanna use a database, external database, and have all the expressions available to you, you need to make sure you import that data into Spotfire when you're accessing that data, and that's covered in the data access video lesson. Now, the last thing before we jump in is that there are tons of expressions to use. There's all kinds of different examples. Here's just in a, a few key ones as an example, but just keep in mind that there's a lot you can do with Spotfire, so always refer to the documentation if you need help. Here I have some public wage data for a certain municipality, and I have different charts here, such as the distribution of all the wages of all the employees. I also have the medium hour, median hourly rate for each of the departments. I'm gonna start with an axis expression. And with axis expressions, you need to think about what the outcome's gonna be. So if your chart is expecting a numerical type or a categorical type, that needs to be the outcome of your expression. If it needs to be aggregated, like a bar chart, value axis needs to be aggregated, then the outcome has to be aggregated. So here I have um, different binning functions. So if I type in uh, bin, you'll see all these different binning functions. And let's say I wanna bin this by an even distance. I wanna bin this by an even uh, $5 increment. So I'll put in five there and I'll hit enter. And you'll see now this distribution is in $5 increments. Now let's say I want to color this thing by low, medium, and high wages. I can go to my color by and I can put an expression directly in here. I have something on my clipboard that is gonna look at when the hourly rate is greater than or equal to 60, make it high. If it's less than 60 and greater than or equal to 20, make it mid or else make it low. And so if I hit that and enter, then you'll see this all colored by low, medium, and high. And you'll notice that my axis expressions have my whole expressions in these column selectors. And I can change the display name here. So let's say I just want to make this something simple like wage tier. I can make that wage tier and you'll see that. Now the problem is if I wanted to add another chart. Now let's say here I wanted to sector size this by my row count and I wanted to color this by the wage tier. I might have to put in that wage tier expression all over again, which could become cumbersome. So if I think I'm gonna be reusing a lot of these expressions, I can go ahead and create an out, a calculate column if I'd like. And here you'll see my recent expressions all included. So my bin by even, even distances here, as well as my case statement. So I'll insert that. And the way this expression handler works is that you have all of the columns that are in your data table here on the left. You have the column table and document properties in the center. And then you have the different functions that are available to you on the right. So coming back here, we have our whole expression editor. Um, I can go ahead and make this a column name. I'll give it wage tier. I get an opportunity to preview this if I'd like, and this will give me the first 100 rows. So the hourly rate is a source column, and that's giving me this outcome, which is a wage tier. I'll close this. I get an opportunity to format as well if I'd like to change the data type. So I'll hit OK, and now there's a calculated column. So if I go to my color by expressions, you'll see wage tier here, and I can just select that, and now I can use that easily across multiple charts. Now. Over here, um, we can also do a, a data limiting expression. So I'll go to my settings. And here on my data table properties, if I go down to data, I get an opportunity to limit the data using expression. So I'll hit edit here. And the outcome of this must be a Boolean statement. So I can do something like hourly rate that is greater than 35 and we should see this filter. So the outcome of this will be true if the hourly rate is greater than 35. 
I'll hit OK there, and you'll see that filter out. So that allows me to do a filter on a specific visualization that is uh, going to be independent of the charts here or the filter panel here and the other filtering. So this can be your own subset of data.